Hi, I'm Shane with Hobart Welding Products. Today I'm going to show you some techniques and tips on wire feed welding. The first thing we're going to talk about is stick out length. This is especially important when you're using uh, shielding gas when MIG welding. What you want is to have a stick out of about quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. And while you're welding, if you hear a popping, like a pop, 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 what you're going to want to do is just push that gun down in there, get the nozzle close to the metal, and the popping will stop. Next, we're going to talk about pushing and pulling. There's a lot of debate on which is better. Um, for the most part, rule of thumb is you want to push if you're using a shielding gas, and you want to drag if you're using flux core. Normally, if you drag um, or pull, you're going to get a bit more penetration and a narrower bead. And if you push, you're going to get a little bit of a wider um, bead and a little less penetration. So uh, that's something to remember. Next, we're going to talk about uh, gun angle. And there's a lot of variables with gun angle um, based off the type of joint you're welding and the different positions. But we're just going to cover three of the basics. Uh, the first is going to be your butt joint. And for a butt joint, you're going to want to be at um, a 90 degree. And for a lap joint, you're going to want to be at about 60 to 70. And for a T joint, you're going to want to be uh, 45. So those are just three um, joints and the angles. Um, just make sure you're getting good penetration into both pieces of metal. Okay, so we talked about stick out, we talked about gun angle, and we talked about the difference between pushing or pulling the weld. Uh, next thing we do is weld, and if your settings are all correct, your gun angle is right, you should be able to just pull that trigger and just move along that seam. And uh, if everything, like I said, set properly, you'll have a beautiful weld. Now if you're looking for um, that stack of dimes look, um, now you're going to have to do some manipulation to the molten puddle. And you can either do a stitch, you can do a half moon, uh, you can also do the cursive uh, lowercase e. Um, any of those tips, um, it, it's more of a preference thing. So, uh, but yeah, most important is uh, just practice. So those are just a few techniques and tips on wire feed welding. Um, the nice thing about welding is if you miss a seam, um, you can always re-weld. Um, if it doesn't look good, grind it down, weld back over it. So that's the nice thing about welding. Just make sure you get good penetration. And uh, I like to always practice, um, especially on thin metal, I like to run a few practice beads on just some scrap metal just to make sure I have the proper settings and technique down. For more information on welding techniques, visit our website, hobartwelders.com.